the superintendent of the Hall County School District, and I come to you this morning with an extremely heavy heart uh, over the events uh, that affected uh, Appalachia High School, um, Barrow County, and I would just also let you know that they tragically affected uh, your Hall County school family with the loss of life with a family member uh, yesterday next door in Barrow County. Uh, I wanted to reassure uh, our 28,000 families. I wanted to reassure our 3,700 team members that safety is a priority in your Hall County School District every day of the year. We have individuals like uh, former Marine Eric Raddick and like uh, Avery Niles, the former head of the Department of Juvenile Justice for the state of Georgia, Georgia that are reviewing our facilities every day. They're reviewing uh, our plans every day. They're working with our people and coordinating with law enforcement to make sure that, that we have uh, our facilities, that we have our people in the best possible position to assure safety uh, with our boys and girls. Also, I want to thank our local law enforcement for the incredible relationship we have with them and they are in and out of our schools uh, all day long. They are increasing patrols and the, uh, and the, and the vigilance that they have around our schools uh, just as a matter of, of precaution uh, for the foreseeable future. Uh, and once again, I, I can't tell you and stress enough that in the Hall County School District, safety is goal one uh, each and, and every day. That being said, uh, I'm getting to the age where I've seen enough of this and I've spent far too much time reviewing the data that we learned from these horrific events that I can already predict with great certainty what we're going to find out about what happened in Barrow County yesterday. Individuals involved in these horrific events uh, have emotional issues that are going on in their lives and for the most part they're not receiving uh, the support that they need uh, to live what we would consider to be just normal lives. So we believe in your Hall County School District that we do want safe schools above all else. We want to create learning environments where students can feel secure, where adults can feel secure, where parents in the community can feel secure. And the best thing we can do for that is to continue to double down on the emotional wellness uh, of the individuals within our community. I've lived a long time and we've never experienced a time like this in our, in our country uh, where mental illness, where emotional uh, dysregulation has been at a greater level. Your school district will continue uh, to provide those supports, to be looking for opportunities uh, to, to help individuals that are struggling in many ways and beyond a shadow of a doubt that is the greatest thing we can do to try to ensure safety, whether it's in our local schools, our local communities, our local movie theaters, uh, moms, dads, Hall County community. We are sitting in the middle of an emotional crisis in this country, uh, and we need to take it seriously. Your Hall County School District does, and we will continue to. Uh, that being said, I uh, just want to tell you that if you have questions, uh, mom or dad, they're certainly normal. Please contact your school principal. I would encourage you to do that via email today. We're going to have our principals out and around and just reassuring people and being very visible today. And once again, I want you to know that in your Hall County School District, safety, uh, emotional wellness of our people uh, are a priority. We cannot learn at our highest levels. We cannot teach at our highest levels. We cannot present the best version of ourselves uh, if we are emotionally suffering. So thank you for giving us the opportunity to work with the most precious resource we have. I would ask this community to come together in spirit of prayer for our neighbors and for our own community. Uh, indeed, this is, this is a battle that will not be won overnight. Uh, and I thank you for the opportunity, again, to serve our boys and girls.